Lesson 8.4b, Angle Pairs and One-Step Equations. Vertical angles are opposite angles. We did opposite angles in 8.4a. We have angle 1 and angle 3. They're opposite of each other. They're vertical angles. And angles 2 and 4 are opposite of each other. They're vertical angles. Vertical angles are the opposite angles formed by two intersecting lines. And vertical angles are congruent because the angles have the same measure. Whatever the measure of 1 is, is the same measure as 3. And 2 is the same measure as 4. Adjacent means adjoining or next. Adjacent angles are pairs of angles that share a vertex and one side, but do not overlap. They're next to each other. So think like apartments sharing a wall. So between angle 1 and angle 2, they share this side. So angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent angles. Angle 2 and angle 3 are adjacent angles. Angle 3 and angle 4 are adjacent angles. And angle 4 and angle 1 are adjacent angles. And the vertex, right here where they intersect, the vertex of an angle is where the sides meet. Complementary angles are two angles whose measures have a sum of 90 degrees. There are two angles that form a right angle together. So the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is equal to 90 degrees. Angle 1 and angle 2 are complementary angles. When the degrees of these angles are added together, their sum is 90 degrees. Supplementary angles are two angles whose measures have a sum of 180 degrees. Two angles that form a straight angle together, they're supplementary. So one, angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary. If we add angle 1 plus angle 2, it will equal 180 degrees. And angle 2 and angle 3 are supplementary. If we add them together, it's 180 degrees. And if we add 3 and 4 together, that's 180 degrees. And if we add angle 4 and angle 1 together, that's 180 degrees. An easy way to remember which are complementary and which are supplementary is to remember that the letter C for complementary comes before the letter S for supplementary in the alphabet. And the number 90 comes before 180 when counting. So we have C that would be the 90, and S, that would be the 180. Complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. Supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. Take a look at this diagram. We have X here, because we don't know the measure. We have 60 degrees here. We have a little box showing us that this is 90 degrees. And notice that F is in the center of all of them. When writing the name of an angle, the vertex letter is always the middle letter. For the measure of angle B, F, C, so that would be this angle, it's equal to 60 degrees. Notice that the vertex F is in the center, and that's how we write it. And the measure of angle C, F, D, C, F, D, so it's this angle, that's a 90 degree angle, we see the box, and angle C, F, D, and angle D, F, E are adjacent angles. They're next to each other. And these are adjacent angles, aren't they? And these are adjacent angles. And these are adjacent angles. We have a lot of adjacent angles. Well, angle B, F, D, B, F, D. So that's this big angle right here if we ignore this ray. So this big angle right here and this angle are vertical angles. They're across from each other. They're opposite. They're vertical angles. And if you look, angle AFB, that's this angle, and angle DFE, that's this angle, they're vertical angles. They're across from each other. That means they have the same measure. And we've got angle... Let me erase these. We have angle AFE, so that's this big one, and angle DFE, DFE, that's this one. They're supplementary angles. If we added this angle to this angle, it would equal 180 degrees. 
angle AFB, AFB, so that's this angle, and angle BFC, that's this angle, are complementary angles. We know that this is a straight line because that is a square corner. That's 90 degrees, so that's got to be straight. That means these two together must equal 90 degrees. They're complementary angles. We can find the measure of angle AFB, what X is equal to, by doing a one-step equation. We can say X plus 60 is equal to 90 degrees. X plus 60 is equal to 90 degrees. We do our one step of inverse operations. If we have a plus 60, we're going to do minus 60 from each side of the equal sign. We're going to eliminate plus 60 minus 60 as a zero, and we're left with x is equal to 30 degrees. So we know that this is 30 degrees. Now this looks pretty busy. Let's take a look at the diagram first. We can see that this angle is 52 degrees. We can see this angle is 90 degrees. We see the little box, but we don't know the measure of this angle, this angle, or this angle. Well, we know if this is a straight line, we can add 52 plus 90 plus the measure of angle SVT, this angle, and it should equal 180 degrees. It's a straight angle. Well, 52 plus 90 is 142, so we know 142 plus the measure of whatever this angle is is equal to 180 degrees. We subtract 142 from each side. That eliminates the 142, and we're left with the measure of angle SVT is equal to 38 degrees. We know that this is 38 degrees. Now, Let's find the measure of TVU. Now, if you remember, vertical angles are opposite angles. They have the same measure. So that means TVU should be 52 degrees. But we can use another way to find out. We know that SVT is 38 degrees. We just found that out. We also know that this is a straight line. And we know that is a 90 degree angle right here. So whatever this angle and this angle is for degree measure, it should be 90. And if this one's 38, we can do 38 degrees plus the measure of angle TVU is equal to 90 degrees and subtract 38 from each side, eliminate the 38, and get the measure of angle TVU is equal to 52 degrees, and it is. We knew that because they were vertical angles, but we were also able to do it with a one-step equation. Now, we've got angle TVU is 52 degrees, we just found that out, and we have UVQ. Let's find this angle measure. We know that this angle and this angle, if this is a straight line here, this should be 180 degrees. So we've got 52 degrees, let me put my degree mark there, plus the measure of angle UVQ is equal to a 180 degrees, because they're supplementary. If we subtract 52 from each side, we're going to eliminate the 52 here and get that the measure of angle UVQ is equal to 128 degrees. By using common sense and going around knowing, using our knowledge of vertical angles, straight angles, complementary angles, supplementary angles, we were able to find all the measures of the angles going around this diagram. We know that's 90, don't we? Because of the square box. So we know all the angle measures going all the way around. Now take a look at this diagram. It's very similar to the one that we just had. When we see an M and this symbol, that's the angle symbol, and then the points, we know that the center one is the vertex. 
This is the measure of angle CFD is 90 degrees. When we see this, we're referring to the angle in degrees. If we just saw angle CFD, we're identifying the sides and vertex of the angle. So remember when the little m is here, that's for the measure of the angle, we need to have degrees. And remember the vertex is always the middle letter. We're finished with 8.4b. We're going to move on to 8.4c, angle pairs and two-step equations. I hope the rest of your day is very productive and it's great. And please join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.